the Portuguese Grand Prix would be the next race that Schumacher would be having to sit out and watch it on German television rather than racing himself. The beautiful region of Estoril, the venue for this 12th round of the World Championship. The coastal town so near to one of the most beautiful small towns in Portugal, Cascais, one of the places where all the Formula One drivers enjoy to spend a little time relaxing before and after the race. Making a visit, as ever, to the Grand Prix racing, the 1993 champion, Alain Prost. We talked to him about his future in racing. He says, perhaps to take over a team, I might consider it, but not under any conditions. In any case, the right opportunity to do that has not yet arisen. There are loads of things that a person like myself can do, and because of all the experience I have, I can enjoy acting as a consultant, giving advice to whoever wants it. But if I were to take over a team, my sole motivation would be to have a winning team, or at least a very competitive one. And at present, all the factors are not in place. The question mark at this point, the tie up between Mercedes and McLaren. Johnny Reeves, it's absolutely certain that Mercedes made a series of proposals to McLaren in the minds of the directors of Mercedes. There's not the slightest doubt that to get in Formula One, must, one must associate oneself with a leading team. Well, the story is certainly going round the paddock about the possible changes, and Eddie Jordan seemed to be in discussion with both McLaren and Peugeot personnel. Start of the race then, and from pole position, Gerhard Berger, a surprise pole position in the Ferrari. From Damon Hill, second fastest, David Coulthard in third place on the grid. Berger it is who makes the best start, and Coulthard once again sets off very well and gets ahead of his team leader. This was to be the last race for David Coulthard before Nigel Mansell rejoined the fray, and the question was, would Coulthard respond to team orders, or would, be, would he be all out to try and get the best result possible? John Alacy trying to fight his way up, but for Gerhard Berger, that early leader out with transmission failure. So David Coulthard leads the Grand Prix for the second time in 15 days, but this for a little bit longer than he managed at Monza. Behind Hakkinen is in fourth place behind John Alacy. But Coulthard is looking very cool and composed up front and he's actually pulling out a gap over Damon Hill. Hill struggling a little bit with the first set of tyres on the Williams that really couldn't get a balanced car as a result. In the Williams pit, perhaps questions as to what would happen next. Well, what happened next was Hill was able to dive past Coulthard at the new section of the circuit. Hill by now on a second set of tyres that certainly balanced the car much better and Hill very much happier with the result. John Alacy in third was to lose that position in an incident with David Brabham. These two had had words earlier in the season and this was not to improve the relationship at all. Coulthard still following behind Damon Hill. Mika Hakkinen in the McLaren Peugeot in third place but with the news coming through for sure that he would be driving with Mercedes power the following year. Problems for JJ Leto in the Benetton and this would prove to be the last race for the Finnish driver with the Benetton team. Jos Verstappen in the other of the Benettons, but neither of them able to match the performances of Schumacher throughout the year. So at the finish, it's the first 1-2 for Williams since the French Grand Prix in 1993, and the first podium finish for David Coulthard, who knows that he's going to have to sit and watch as Nigel Mansell makes his return in the next few races. Brilliant performance from both of the Englishmen, and we spoke to Coulthard afterwards.